Hey everyone, let's take a look at multiple choice number 10. It's got quite a paragraph to it, so I'm going to be on the hunt for buzzwords. So a recent study was conducted to investigate the duration of time required to complete a certain manual dexterity um, task. So right out the gate, I have a feeling my variable is going to be time. All right, the reported mean, and I'm going to highlight that word, was 10.2 seconds. So there I do see a time value, right? I've got a numerical variable with units. All right, the port reported mean was 10.2 seconds with a standard deviation of 16 seconds. So I just want to take a moment here and say that my variable is this time required to complete dexterity task. And my units look to be in seconds. And at this point, I'm going to say that x is distributed. I'm going to put a question mark. I haven't seen anything about a normal distribution or a uniform, but I, I do want to just keep this in mind. I know that the mean was 10.2 and the standard deviation was 16. And for me personally, as I go through, especially problems where there's a lot of wording, I tend to just go a sentence at a time and then write down what I know. So this is what I know so far. So let's see what else I can find out. It says, suppose Report, suppose the reported values are the true mean and standard deviation for the population. Great. If a, oh, here we go. If a random sample of 144 subjects. So as soon as I see that I've got this random sample, I'm thinking this is more, more than likely going to be a sampling distribution problem. So I'm going to write sampling distribution here. And it's going to be for means because I have a numerical variable. So I'm thinking we've got a chapter seven problem here. Okay, um, so if a random sample of 144 subjects is selected from the population, what is the approximate probability? All right, there's a capital P word, so I know I'm gonna have a P with some stuff in parentheses in a bit. What is the probability that the mean of the sample, there it is, all right, I'm on a sampling distribution. What is the probability that the mean of the sample will be more than 11 seconds? All right, so let's let's start to figure this out. I'm gonna make my parentheses here just a little bit better. Okay, so if this is my population distribution, and I don't know the shape, but that's fine, let's see what we can figure out for the sampling distribution. All right, if I wanna do the sample, all right, so the mean will stay the same, but the standard deviation gets divided by the square root of n, right, to get me that sampling uh, error, or this, yeah. Uh, not sampling error, what am I trying to say? Standard error, oh, I couldn't even remember my own vocab term. This is the sampling distribution. Okay. All right, now can I, put, the big question is, can I put the N here, right? That's what we wanna do. So if we think about the, the assumptions in mean land, you can get normality on the sampling distribution in one of two ways. If your population distribution is stated to be normal, you can automatically write the n here. But look, my population distribution, we don't know its shape. So that does not get me the n, right? I, I don't have it. But if my sample size is larger than 30, I can put it. And if we remember, our sample size is 144. So that means the central limit theorem is kicking in. And I get the capital N there, which allows me to use normal CDF. Now, Let's say, I'm gonna finish this problem, but I just wanna give you a four example. Let's say this had been 14 instead of 144. If it was 14, right, then I, I couldn't put the N here, and then I couldn't do the problem, and our answer would have been D. But I, I, I can, so let me go ahead and undo all of that, because that we're still here. All right, so I want the probability, and let me change highlighter colors, I want the probability that the sample mean will be more than 11. So let's see if we can figure this out. I want the probability that X bar is going to be greater than 11. All right, so that means I'm gonna go with normal CDF. And we think if we think about what that sampling distribution would have looked like, right? it would have been centered at 10.2, and I don't know exactly where 11 is. I'd have to, I think this number, if I, let me, and when I say this number, I mean this one. The standard error, um, square root of 144 is 12. 16 over 12 is about 1.33. So if I go a little bit this way on the x-axis, I'm not going to crunch those numbers. I'm just going to say that 11 is like somewhere in here. Let me do it that way. And then if I want to go greater than that, I want to shade all of this area, right? So I'm looking at, I don't know, what is that? That's less than 50%. So just based on, on my graph, 
I know D isn't going to be my answer. I think, I think C is way too large. And between these two values, I, I would guess B based on my graph, but maybe my graph is off, so it could be A. Let, let's figure this out. But if I want to go low on my normal CDF, low, high, mean, and then standard error, or standard deviation of the sampling distribution, let, let's figure these numbers out. So my low is 11, and then I go all the way up to positive infinity. So this is going to be normal CDF. And we're going to go 11, 199. And then we're going to do the mean, which was 10.2, but the standard error was 16 over the square root of 144, which again, I think is about 1.333. But let me go ahead and crunch this number on my calculator and see if I can figure this out. All right, so let me head over here. I'm going to go to my app, and we're going to do second bars option two. So I'm going to go low was 11, 1, E, 9, 9, and then we had 10.2. And then I had 16 divided by the square root of 144. And I can close that out. And I get about, what, 27.4%, so 0.274. And there's my notes. Okay, so this is 0.274. And there it is, option B. All right, and that actually, that does match my graph. It wouldn't have surprised me if my graph was so bad that the answer was A, but it was B. So all, all good. All right.